I think the first thing I would say is that um, I think the I think the federal government, the CDC, and the FDA pursued what most experts would call a cautious approach on this. They had enough incidents to represent a one in a million with respect to the number of people who had been vaccinated where they had issues with respect to um, blood clots and a negative reaction. And they, they paused it. We all paused it. Uh, they did a fair amount of work um, to determine both you know, the nature of the incidents that occurred, what happened as a result, whether or not they had all the cases that existed around the country, um, and then based on that, determined that the benefit of the vaccine uh, was overwhelmingly positive, the number of cases was extremely rare, and that it would be important for that vaccine uh, to be part of the sort of toolbox of vaccines that we make available to people uh, here in Massachusetts. And, and I've said many times that um, I think if you have an opportunity to get vaccinated by one of these three vaccines, you should take it. Um, I think for the most part, uh, that will continue to be the way people respond to this. We don't have a lot of hesitancy in Massachusetts with respect to getting vaccinated. There were a couple of stories about um, people in other parts of the country not getting their second vaccine uh, after they get the first. If they get Pfizer or Moderna here in Massachusetts, we're north of 99 percent of the population. Uh, gets their second vaccine. Part of that's because we do everything we can to encourage providers to book that second appointment while people are still there having their waiting period after their first one. Um, but I do think we will continue to make J&J &J available, uh, especially to reach some of those harder to reach populations where the, uh, the ease of use and the, and the single dose can make a big difference for people. Other, other states are closing vaccination sites because people aren't showing up. And yet the New England states are leading the nation in terms of accepting vaccine and using it. Why do you think the New Englanders are, are so on board with the vaccine? I'm not exactly sure what's driving some of the, um, the behavior that's going on um, in other parts of the country. What I can tell you is that you know, we got hit very hard here early. If you look at the Northeast generally, because of primarily the a lot of the traffic that have been coming in and out of the Northeast, in and out of New York, in and out of Boston. Um, and that brought the, vac the, the virus here in many respects long before it got to other parts of the country. And uh, before we knew very much about it, before we knew about asymptomatic transmission, before anybody had any serious PPE, and, and, and we, we got hit really hard. And, and I think for a lot of folks in the Northeast, that has stayed with us throughout the course of the pandemic and has a lot to do with why people have been um, so enthusiastic around the Northeast about getting vaccinated. I do think some of it has to do with, with how hard we got hit early on.